If there's one weapon that's incredibly hard that requires an incredible amount of skill and overall very stylish, it's the Clash Blaster. Can we all be honest here? This is an incredibly fierce pack of crayons attached to a... Uh, pencil sharpener? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. So here are my tips for how to play with the Clash Blaster. Get your notes out, for I'm about to lay that knowledge. Knowledge you probably already knew. Tip number one with the great, very fun Clash Blaster is to walk forward. Legend has it if you simply walk toward your opponent with a Clash Blaster, intimidation rates rise by as much as 45.23%. The Clash Blaster is very up in personal weapon, so you must be super close to your opponents. Like, not give them any space clothes. Make them have claustrophobia by the time you're done with them. Tip number two is to shoot with the Clash Blaster in Splatoon 2. Remember what I talked about percentages and statistics and just simply walking towards your opponent? Well, Legend also has it, totally not from a Wikipedia page that I edited or anything, is that intimidation rates go up another 207% when Clash Blasters actually shoot their weapons. When a Clash Blaster shoots, all that goes through an opponent's head is, oh god, oh god, he's coming around the corner, he's gonna sense me and he's gonna step on me like Plankton and Spongebob, I'm never gonna see my kids again. Shooting with the Clash Blaster, I heard, makes up a lot of deaths in Splatoon 2, so if you shoot with the Clash Blaster, you'll be in great shape. Oh, oh right, the, the damage and everything. Uh, the Clash Blaster is a, uh, four-shot kill with indirects and a, uh, two-shot kill with directs. I know four shots sounds like a lot, but Clash Blasters shoot faster than I scramble finding out where to put blocks in Tetris 99. He's a crap! You'll be fine aiming with the Clash Blaster. If you have any kind of sight left in your gamer eyes, you can find them. Tip number three, you must have the perfect gear for the Clash Blaster, and that is... Just include Run Speed and Ink Saver Main. Look at my man, he's temporarily blind and he's wearing sunglasses. He's just that good with the Clash Blaster. You go, Billy, get that enemy over there. B Billy, that that's a wall. Wait, did I hit something? Yes, you did, Billy. Good job. Tip number four, you must know what stages you do and don't love with the Clash Blaster. Basically, just stay on poor Mackerel with the Clash Blaster. If you know what maps you do well on and what maps you don't get horribly outranged on, you'll be fine. And tip number five is to fight all oppression that you receive. I say this is a blah blah remain that is continually discriminated against and continually bullied. People continue to call my weapon no skill and brain dead, but I highly disagree. Go forth my Crayola kids and show off the skill of your Clash Blaster. In, in fact, I'll give you guys a bonus tip. I got this from my good old pal Casero in one of his videos. If you're a Clash Blaster main or even thinking about using the Clash Blaster, get this. Open up Splatoon 2, press the home menu, Press X and then A, press down on the control stick once, and then write four times, then A, then press down five times, write, down, press A, find Splatoon 2, press A yet again, press down twice, and then A twice. If you follow those instructions, you'll be an expert Clash Blaster main in no time. What weapon do you want me to rid- I mean talk about next? Let me know in the comments, look at what day this video was published, April 1st for me, and remember to subscribe to Alpstar716 for more content on Splatoon 2 and other things gaming. See you all next time.